Hello and welcome to this video. As you can see by the title, we're going over who's going to Worlds. Uh, my opinion of who is going at the moment. Um, if I had to guess who would be making it to Worlds. Um, who has a chance to get into that group that isn't in that group. And who I don't think has a chance at all. Um, which is going to ruffle some feathers sometimes, but that is what it is. And to even upset you more, I am not going to start with the LPL first because that is the most interesting we're going to go with the LCS um, to start us off. And there's no real order to this because we all want to know who's going to Worlds. But really, what I want to do is um, spread it out. We're going over all the teams here. Um, so, uh, first, 100 Thieves for the LCS, I believe, are right now a Worlds team. I think they are one of the three that would go. Let's see how that shows up on there. Yeah, well, it kind of shows up. Hopefully, you see it. Um, so I think 100 T are going. If I had to guess, I believe C9 has a chance to go. Um, you know, I think on paper that their best is good enough to get there. Um, CLG Dignitas, I have absolutely freaking not going. Um, despite CLG, you know, being competitive this split, I do not see them as a world's team by any stretch dignitas will be lucky to have a winning record um right now i have eg going to worlds um eg obviously leading the way right now msi representatives a very good team i do not think fly quest will be going to worlds with the lcs it's pretty cut and dry actually both i have pretty strong opinions about the west in terms of who's decent and who's not um i don't think golden guardians are going I don't think IMT are going. Um, I don't think any of those teams are going to Worlds. If they go to Worlds, that's pretty freaking sad that any of these teams, yeah, whatever, any of these teams actually blew it to the point where one of these guys actually got in. Like, I know FlyQuest has been winning games, but they're winning games they shouldn't be. I mean, they got blown out this past weekend. Um, they are not really all that great. And I also believe TL right now would be the third team I have going to Worlds, which would leave TSM out. Um, despite the young guys for TSM winning this past week, I do not have TSM going to Worlds. So for the LCS, it's pretty easy. I mean, this is no shocker to anybody to have 100 T, E, G, and TL be the three teams. And we see C9 as a team that could push for one of those spots. Um... I don't think CLG, Dig, Fly, Golden Guardians, IMT, or TSM have a high enough ceiling that in the playoffs they can, excuse me, go on a run, beat these teams in best of fives, and go to Worlds. I just don't see it happening at all. Now, in the LEC, we have Astralis. Absolutely not. I don't think Astralis is going. And there is a big group of teams in... Um, in the LEC right now that are in the middle of the in the standings their standings are definitely all over the place but I think it's pretty easy to determine who we think has a chance and who doesn't now this one is going to upset some people um, there is not a doubt that I'm gonna upset some people but I really don't think Excel are going to Worlds I don't think that they are I think they showed us their best and their best is good but I don't think their best is good enough. I do not believe that in best of fives when G2 is good, really hot. Rogue are really good now. When Mad Lions are in best of fives, Fnatic. I just don't see Excel getting to that point um, where they can get there. Now, who do I have going? Well, right now I have Fnatic and G2 going. I think when push comes to shove, G2 right now would get into Worlds. Um, it is really coin flip, though. Like, I would say that this would be more contested than that is. Um, I don't think, like, C9 has to play at their best, and one of these teams have to play at their worst to get in. Where G2, I think, just have to play the way they've been playing recently, and I wouldn't be shocked if they didn't go. Um, in the middle, we have Mad Lions. I think Mad Lions have a chance for sure. Um... I think when they're at their best, they're the best team in the LEC. Um, I think some days they can be the best team in the LEC. Um, 
Misfits, I don't think, have a chance. I don't think Misfits are really that great. They live and die by Vethio. Um, take Vethio away like we did earlier in the split, and they aren't going anywhere. Um, next team that we have going is Rogue. I have Rogue going. This marker is not doing well. Um, I have Rogue going. I believe Rogue, when um, the regular season ends, Rogue is going to be able to get to Worlds. We'll, I mean, are they a great playoff team? No, but I think they're good enough to get there. Um, right now, they're hot. They're where they're supposed to be, and I don't expect them slowing down anytime soon. Next to SK and BDS, I don't think either one have the potential to make a run. Um, just because SK's won a couple games against good opponents this past weekend gives me... I mean, it, it's nice for them to get wins, right? But I don't think that they're at this level. And last, I think Vitality will have a chance um, in best of fives. Um, I don't think we've seen the best of Vitality in summer yet. I think whether they go to Bo or whether they stick with Haru. Um, but in the playoffs, if they get there, I think that this team has the capability because they have so many players that have been there and done that that they could go on a run. Um, they, they could. Where these guys don't really have that going on. Astralis does. Astralis has multiple players that have won on a run before when they were like, you know, not ancient in terms of league terms. So um, that's a thing. Um, so that's how I have the LEC right now. LCK, um, okay, okay, LCK is definitely tough, um, because they have four teams going, and it's really hard, it's really hard, um, because earlier on in the split, we had a situation where I, um, I opened the wrong one, when, you know, we had, especially in spring and early on in the split, where the fourth team is hard to determine for the LCK, Um, DRX I have in the middle, this is a good example. DRX start the split strong. They get to fourth place, they get to third place. Oh geez, they're doing really well. Now they're five and five. That's the nature of fourth place in the LCK as far as I'm concerned. Um, Dom one, I think definitely go. Um, DK are too good not to. Let's be real, DK are too good not to, and if they don't go... I mean, so help me God, that is, that might be the, um, yeah, that, that would definitely be the most shocking team to not make it to Worlds in 2022, um, because the amount of money they have, the amount of great players they have, it's hard to believe, especially with how many, with like the drop off from what they, where they should be to like where the teams that are here are, is going to be pretty massive, despite one of, I mean, I'm only going to list the big three probably here um these teams are like significantly lower than them in terms of what i think is you know decent um fred and Breon, i think they're already out of the playoffs pretty much so i mean fred and Breon aren't allowed to go to worlds i guess now uh gen g are gonna go gen g can go um hle is pretty much done Dead in the water. Um, KT, I think, have a chance. Just like DRX. Um, I do not believe in the Kwangdong Freaks, though. Which might be kind of... I mean, some people like Kwangdong. I do not. Um, I mean... Um, Kwangdong have good... They have, they have a great top laner. Keen is a great top laner, but lately he has actually struggled a lot, um, which is very bad for them. Teddy, world-class AD carry, but his support is musical chairs. Moham, Hoyt, Moham, Hoyt. Fate in mid. Eh, sometimes he does good, and more often than not, it's just like, is he even out there? Elam, this team's not very good. I don't think that it's, I don't think he can get it done. Um, and I, this is a tough one, um, but I, it's... If DRX wasn't losing so much, I would actually probably put this team in the red, but I'm not. Um, Sandbox. So, Sandbox right now are having a great split, a great recovery from spring. But they have to go on a serious run to get in, um, continue this streak, 
and in the playoffs beat teams like this that are more experienced and we're going to see if they can do it um part of me doesn't think they can um i mean we'll see what happens um if i had to bet i don't think they do um but right now they do have a chance i think they can get in they can get into the playoffs and make some noise but will they win a spot to worlds is another thing entirely nong shim they're falling apart Nong Shim aren't going. And then the last one we're all waiting for. T1 obviously going. Um, I feel like there aren't really any shockers up here to people. Um, but I think what it is is the shock value of who do I think even has a chance and who I don't think has a chance at all um, might be more valuable. Um, some people might have done one down here. But like I said, I think they if they don't go to Worlds, like that is a massive failure now lpl who do i think is not going well i don't think anyone's legend's gonna go um anyone's legend i think are playing great league of legends right now but it is the best version of league of legends they can play i feel like this team is at their ceiling at their peak and i don't think that their peak is good enough to beat the teams that i would have going to worlds BLG, a team that we would have expected maybe to have the capability of going to Worlds. I don't think they're going. They're fall, they've fallen apart. Um, they've, they've completely fallen apart. I do not have them going. Um, EDG and FPX, I think, have a chance to go. EDG, of course, we know that they are capable. FPX, on the other hand. Um, we'll have to really see how FPX performs um, Thursday... FPX, I think, plays um, they play somebody on Thursday. I forget who it is. <sighs> but they're coming off of a loss to OMG after going on a 4-0 run after starting 0-5. So we have to figure out if they recover or not. If they don't recover, they're dropping down here as a team that went on a run and now has hit a wall. Um, but if they can win, um, I think they're still here. They are definitely they definitely have the pieces capable of winning, um, which they showed in their 4-0 streak. I think that they have a chance if they can get on a really good run to be able to get there. IG, I don't think will. IG might almost be out of the playoffs now. I think they have nine losses. You have nine losses, you're out. Um, JDG, I think, is one of my world's teams from here. Shocker, I know. Um, Kanavi is playing like the best jungler in the world right now. 369 is playing like the best top laner i mean that team right now might be playing like the best team in the world um statistically algorithmically they're fourth um i think they're better now after this past match i think they're probably bumped up to second in the algorithm we'll see on thursday where they are but um very 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 good team um big nope i think lgd aren't going Oh, do you, where do I want, I don't think LNG go, I think LNG don't know what their problem is, and we'll get to that in a second, I don't think OMG are going to go, I don't think Rare Adam are going to go, so let's talk about a couple of these teams here, so OMG are on a run, great for them, I think they are playing at their peak, similar to how I feel about um, anyone's legend, um, and I don't think that they are good enough to beat the teams up here and frankly, reliably beat teams in here. LLNG don't know what their problem is. Like, as in like, they don't know what their problem is. Not that I, well, I mean, I'm not in the room, so I guess I don't know what the problem is necessarily, but do and be knows they stink. Um, I would like Tarzan to come out and say they know they stink because both of those two are the two players that are underperforming and today played very well, two old ultra prime, six and five. Did they ride the ship? Are they going to go to Worlds? Who knows? Maybe. But as long as they're playing, <clears throat> as long as they're playing Panda C, I don't think they're going. Sorry, Panda, but I just don't think um, that's a good indicator. Ale, I don't think is the problem with that team. I think it's Jungle Mid. Now, um, RNG, I have going. RNG, I think are a top four team. They're very freaking good. I think that goes without saying. I think a lot of people would agree with me. Team We, I don't think, are going. Of course Team We wouldn't go. Why would you have Team We going? Top We have going. 
Top are very freaking good. Knight is playing great League of Legends. Um, Jackie Love is playing very well. Tian has played very well last week, not so much, um, but he's played very well. Um, I do not think that they're as good as JDG right now. Um, I do not think they might be. In a five-game series against JDG, I think they would lose. RNG, I know they just beat. RNG has some problems. Top have some problems. Um, I think TT and Ultra Prime are not going. Um, last team going to Worlds, Victory 5. Uh, V5 right now, despite just losing to um, the last team that I'm going to go over. Um, they are still very freaking good. They only lost because they chose to give Senna over. As far as I'm concerned, if they keep Senna and first pick Senna in game one, they win. And then they win the series in game two. Um, so, or game three, regardless. I think they threw draft and that's why they lost. They are still very good and probably still rated as the number one team on the power rankings. Um, and then last place, we have Weibo, who I think have a chance. Um, I think Weibo have a chance. Um, when they play at their best, they can beat Victory 5. Victory 5 into the draft. Yes, they did. Um, but maybe when they play their best, they can beat Top or RNG. Um, Weibo are very good. The Shy very good. Um, S of M played good. Um, Juan Fang solid. Um, you know, Angel's also playing um, well under the radar. So as far as I'm concerned, these are the three teams that could push these four for it. Um, LNG and BLG being the two shockers down here. Um, well, not so BLG anymore, but LNG, not anyone's legend. LNG, they need to write the ship. And by writing the ship, I mean telling Tarzan and Doombie not to hint and to do what their fucking job is, pretty much. Um, pardon my French. So, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, subscribe to the channel. Give me your comments down below. Um, go to the Discord if you want to. The link will be in the description. And thank you for watching.